Hey, what's up? And welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how and when to use the canonical tag. Are you looking to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet hit subscribe, please do so now. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your marketing needs online. So let's talk about the canonical tag and what does it mean and why it matters to SEO. So a canonical tag is AKA real canonical. It's a way of telling the search engines that a specific URL on your site is the main copy or the master copy of a page. So for instance, you might have a number of pieces of content that talk about a specific topic, but which one is the page that you want to be the authoritative piece, the one that you want to rank for that targeted keyword. This is where the canonical tag comes in and it's extremely important. So the reason it matters are really there's there's three main main reasons. Well, the first and probably the most important is that crawlers can miss your unique content because they'll leave if they find too much duplicate content on your site. So there's something called crawl budget and this is how much a crawler will spend time reading through your content and each site has a expected amount that that the crawler is going to give it. Now, if it keeps hitting duplicate content or content that's very similar a crawler will most likely stop crawling your site and move on because it says, well, I think I know everything I need to know about this site. And that can really hurt you because you may have really good, unique content that you actually want to rank, but because it's not structured properly, that the crawler will stop and it may not even index that piece of content. The number two reason is that duplicate content can actually weaken your ranking ability. You can start to cannibalize yourself where you're trying to compete for a specific term and you have multiple pages that are all very similar, they can start to really knock your, your pages down because you have too much content trying to rank for a specific term that, that really Google starts to uh, push you down and, and ignore you because it's it's not unique content. It's not pointing to the right, the right page. And really this leads into three is that if you do rank, the wrong URL might be ranking as the original piece. So maybe you created a supported piece, but it actually doesn't, that's not the piece that you really wanted you know, to drive traffic to. It's not that money page that's going to lead to conversions. And now because of that, you have the wrong page ranking. And this can happen a lot, especially when it comes to, you know, a pillar strategy where someone, you know, creates a pillar page and then creates content around there. If they haven't set it up properly or built the pages properly and are not using canonicalization, then they might have one of those, you know, side pieces ranking instead of that pillar page, which is really the most important part of the strategy. So here are some best practices that you want to look at, and you can find these um, on moz.com. They have tons of good information all the time. I highly recommend you checking out all their SEO courses, everything else that they do, the Whiteboard Fridays, all the old stuff from Rand and all the new stuff they've been putting out. It's great. But they give us these best practices, and these are great. There was no reason for me to create new ones because why reinvent the wheel? They've already done it for us. The first one is canonicalizing your... Uh, your homepage, or really even what we would call self-referral. So one and two are very similar. This means putting a canonical tag on the page that you uh, are deeming as the right page. You know, you want to actually real canonicalize that page itself. Now, instead of confusing you anymore by using this term another time, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So for instance, we have our main website right here for our agency. If we would right click on here and we view the inspection of this page, we can see that this is the site. And then we can also go down and we will find a real canonical tag to the exact same page. So not only is this taking care of the home page like we talked about, but it's also saying that, hey, any other page that has, you know, smamarketing.net with or without the WW, with or without the HTTPS, when it comes to this page being authoritative, even this page itself, we're looking at this page, we're actually putting what would be known as a self-referral in here. And so we're telling a Google, hey, you're on this page, but this is also the canonical page. So on the HTTP, um, HTTPS, no WW version, we would also, if we had one, we don't have one, we're not duplicating our content like that. But if we did, we would say, hey, the canonical is the main page. You would use this also on pieces of content. Let's say, um, we went to our SEO page and we're just looking at SEO and we again view the page source 
we want to make sure that we have a rel canalical saying, hey, this is the page that is the SEO page. Now, if there's any other pages that are in the theme or the topic of SEO, but aren't necessarily the canonical tag that we don't want them to specifically be known on our page as that SEO page, we would put this real canonical tag in that page as well. I hope this isn't really super confusing. I know that it can be, but it's adding these simple things into your site can make a huge difference. It can impact your crawl budget. It can impact what page gets ranked and really helps the search engines better understand, uh, really helps. I know this can seem a little bit hard to understand at times, but if you slow down and you start to think about which pages really need to have these tags in them and which pages are possibly competing for the terms that you're also trying to rank your money pages for, it can really help make sure that you, you, your right pages are ranking and that the right content is being seen as the authoritative piece. Uh, you, you also want to spot check for like dynamic canonical tags and URLs. And this happens a lot on e-commerce sites, uh, maybe where you have products that are similar, um, maybe where you have um, other other pages like uh, that are coming out from your CMS, so you, maybe you've got a category page or a tag page. Those pages in and of themselves aren't bad, but if they're outranking your main page, then it's not really helping you. It actually can end up uh, hurting you in the long run. So slowing down and making sure that you know maybe you've got a uh, a tag in your um, in your blog page or your topics page, and that is a topic of SEO. And you want to make sure that that has a rel canonical back to the main page of your site so you're not having that weird um, dynamically generated tag. You also want to avoid mixed signals. Now, this happens in what we call like redirect chains, where you have uh, a page redirect to a page that's actually redirecting to another page. The same thing could happen in, um, in, in with real rel canonicals. Well, for instance, you'd have page A, and page A is redirecting to page B. Uh, saying that you know B is actually the main page here, but then you actually have a row canonical tag on B that's saying, well, actually it's C that's the right page. So you want to avoid this uh, this chain here. What you would want to do is have the row canonical there from B to C, and then you would also have a separate one that would actually be from A to C as well. And now you're just being very clear with what page is the most important page when it comes to ranking instead of confusing the uh, search engines. You know, you think about how they're gonna read your content. Be careful of like near duplicates. This is something Moz talks about. And I think it's really important to think about, um, you can do it for similar pages, uh, but if there's enough difference between them and it's not actually uh, conflicting, you might be pushing a page that's already ranking for some like related terms away from the search engines. So. Think about really how different the pages are and how duplicate they are and see if it's actually any value of maybe leaving that page the same, maybe adjusting the content a little bit, uh, but not necessarily putting in that tag because, you know, let's say you're, you're doing a, a piece of content on SEO, but then you maybe do a piece of content on, you know, SEO best practices. And really the term you're focusing on here is best practices and not necessarily just the core term. And even though you have some similar content, you, you might want that other page to still be its own page and be treated as such. And also, if it's not related enough, uh, the search engines can ignore the real canonical tag. These tags, these meta informations, a lot of times aren't necessarily rules. They're more along the lines of suggestions. And that's an important thing to understand and distinguish that just because you have that in there doesn't mean it's always going to be read the way that you think it's going to be. The other thing you want to make sure to do is also to canonicalize across, you know, across domains. So let's say you have a blog dot and then your www dot and maybe an info dot. So you're using subdomains. Um, make sure that you, you add those canonical tags across there because that still can have um, duplicates. Also, if you're publishing like your content on your blog and you're also doing it on a medium blog, make sure that you add that real canonical back to your main page, the, the one that you want to rank. Uh, this is very important because this is gonna make sure, again, that your main content ranks and not the content that's been maybe uh, um, used across the web or maybe um, uh, what are the syndicated, maybe by maybe you're doing some syndication. Make sure that all the syndicate pieces have a rel canonical tag back to your main piece of content, which lays on your website. So how do you check for this? How do you make sure that your pages have canonical tags? 
how do you make sure it's pointing to the right page, and how do you make sure these pages are actually crawlable and indexable. Well, as you saw, what I did over here already is I used just the uh, just the web tools available to us here by page source uh, on Chrome. Uh, you can do this on almost every browser. Look at the page source, and then you can just either search for it or know that it's going to be up here in in the uh, in the header tag. Make sure that it is pointing to the page that you want it to. The other option is to use the Moz toolbar. Uh, what this does is it gives you some free data from Moz. You just got to sign in with your free account. All you want to do here is click page analysis and then general attributes, and it'll tell you where this page is uh, has a real canonical tag. Um, and make sure that it's pointing to the page that, that you want it to. Uh, there's also another great tool, and it is called Screaming Frog. If you're not using Screaming Frog, it's a great tool uh, for crawling your site and understanding how search engines see your site. Up here at the top, it'll show you all the canonical tags. It'll also let you know if they are indexable or not. The reason you want to make sure that they're indexable, this will tell you whether or not this page is actually being read in, in the index from Google as it's able to be indexed. This is important. I like using Screaming Frog because it's going to pull out a list of them for you, and then you can see where the link element is going to. It's going to tell you if it's indexable or not. A lot of information. Again, Screaming Frog is free. There are paid versions of it as well if you have a much larger site and need more data. But this is a great use of the tool. You can export this and then work with it inside of a, a, you know, Excel or Google Docs, something along that line that's going to allow you to manipulate it and see what you need to see. So as you can see from this video, Real Canonical is a simple thing that you can leverage and really help make sure that your site is more crawl friendly and making sure that your, your on page and your technical SEO is, is working for you. If you have any questions, please comment below. And until next time, happy marketing. Thank you.